Get a girlfriend via Facebook. Have you found yourself falling for a girl you've been chatting with on Facebook? If you've been having some great conversations with a cute girl you like, then you may want to take it to the next level and ask her to be your girlfriend. All you have to do to make it happen is to be a great online conversationalist and show her how much she means to you. Here are some secret tips. Make sure she's single. If you want to get a girlfriend through Facebook chat, then the first thing you can do is to make sure she'd be open to your advances. Of course, it may sound pretty obvious to say that you should click on her profile to see if she's single, but it may not be as simple as that. You may have to do a bit more digging than that. For example, she may be dating someone who isn't on Facebook and may not list her relationship status, she may be married to one of her female friends as a joke while dating someone, or she may be very clearly into someone else. Make sure you have an interesting profile. Whether you know the girl or not, it's important to have a profile that is interesting and up-to-date. If she gets in the habit of chatting with you a lot, or commenting on your Facebook posts, then chances are that she'll be taking a peek at your profile. If that's the case, then you should make sure you have fun, flattering photos, an interesting profile, and some comments that make her laugh. Don't chat her the second she signs online. If you want to play it cool and get the girl to like you without coming on too strong, then give her at least 10 to 15 to be online before you ask her, what's up? This will show that you haven't been sitting around Facebook waiting for her to sign online, but that you just happen to be on and want to see how she's doing. Of course, you may miss out if she signs off after 2 minutes, but you'll look more chill if you do talk to her after she's been online for a little while. Have a casual opener. When you do message her, you can start with something casual and light so you don't make it seem like you've been stalking her profile. You can just say, what's up? How was your day? Or ask her about something simple like how her soccer game went or what she thought of the math test from the class you have together. You don't have to make the most fascinating comment at first and should focus on getting the conversation going instead, in fact, if you try to be fascinating too soon, it'll show. Bring up interesting topics. After you get the ball rolling, you can start talking about topics that will interest the girl and will keep her talking. It all really depends on what you're interested in and what you think she'll care about. You can talk about some gossip in your school, without being too mean, the class you have together, something crazy in the local news, or what you're doing this summer. Begin to build a common bond. If you don't know her well, you can try cruising her Facebook profile for some hints of what she's into, from which bands she likes to weather or what her other hobbies are, whether she likes to run or hike. You don't have to say that you've looked at her profile, but bring them up naturally in conversation. You can also connect over growing up in the same place, playing the same sport, having similar political views, or a number of other topics. Show that you're interested in her. If you want the girl to keep talking to you, then you should let her know that you really do care about her. At first, just keep the conversation light and breezy, but subtly work in some compliments to keep the conversation moving forward. You can say something like, it's so easy to talk to you or you crack me up. Let her know that you really appreciate her personality and that you look forward to your conversations. Don't come on too strong. It's one thing to make interesting conversation online and to build your relationship with a girl over Facebook. However, it's another to always be online waiting for her, to message her the second she gets on, and to send her a million messages while she barely responds. Make sure that you're both messaging each other first about the same amount, that you're not online 24 sevenths, and that it seems like she's as interested in the conversation as you are. Show that you have a life outside of Facebook. If you want the girl to be interested in you, then you have to show her that you have things going on besides uploading new photos to your Facebook account. You can talk about fun weekend plans you're having, something you're looking forward to that evening, or just mention some friends you're going to see later. 
You shouldn't lie to make your life seem cooler than it really is, but you should let her see that you're more than just the guy who is always on Facebook. Consider subtly referencing her profile or Facebook posts. Though this can be creepy at first, once you get to know her, you can talk about some of the things she posted online. If she posted a photo of her and her friends spending the weekend at Lake Tahoe, then you can ask her how the trip went. If she posts a news article that she cares about, you can talk to her about it as long as it doesn't lead to a fight. This can give you something to talk about and can keep your conversation going strong. Show that you're really paying attention. If you really want to catch the girl's eye, then you have to show her that you care about who she is as a person. If she mentions something, like an upcoming dance recital, bring it up the next time, asking how it went. If you saw her in school and noticed she was wearing a new dress or cut her hair, give her a compliment, without being creepy. Let her know that you actually pay attention to her and that you take note of her looks and of what she says. Sign off while things are still interesting. Another thing you can do to keep her hooked is to end the conversation when it's getting good. You don't want to have a great convo for a while and then run out of things to say before you have to get going. Find a time when the conversation is really interesting and then begin to wrap it up before you sign off, so you leave her wanting more. Consider asking her out online. One thing you can do is to ask the girl out, or even ask her to be your girlfriend, over Facebook. Though some girls may wish you had done this in person, if you have a really strong bond online and think that she would respond well, then you can consider asking her out right over the internet. Many people would warn you against this, but if you think this is right for you and your girl, then you can try simply finding a moment when the timing is right, and then asking her if she'd like to be your girlfriend. Spend some time with her in person first. Though you may have really fallen in love over the internet, it can help you to get a better sense of who the girl is, and whether or not you're really compatible by spending some time with her in person. If you're in the same school or live nearby, then start by initiating casual group hangouts with her, and then see if you can hang out solo, even if you're just grabbing lunch, taking a walk, or seeing a movie. This can give you a better sense of whether or not you two would be a great match. Make sure the feeling is mutual. Whether you're hanging out solo in person, or just chatting online, before you pop the question, you should get a sense of whether or not the girl likes you as more than a friend. Though you may get along great, she may think of you as more of a buddy, or she may just have her eye on someone else. When you're with her or talking to her, see if she's really excited to you, if she flirts a bit, and if she asks you questions about your life. Think about it more to see if she has a crush on you. Find the right time to ask her. If you've decided to ask her to be your girlfriend, then you have to find the right moment to ask her, whether you're asking online or in person. If you're asking online, then you should find a moment in the conversation where you're complimenting each other, having a great chat, or talking about hanging out soon. If you're in person, make sure you're alone, that she's in a good mood, and that you're really connecting before you ask. React appropriately. Whether she says yes or no, it's important to react in a way that makes you look like a mature gentleman. If she says she'd like to be your girlfriend, then you should do a little dance, let her see how happy you are, and show her some affection. If she turns you down, then act like it's no big deal. Tell her you hope you can still be friends and that you appreciate her honesty. <laughs>